Hey, welcome back. Just a quick one today. Um, release notes from Figma. They are promoting their own MCP server. So we are going to look at it today and we will compare this to the, the one that we have tested uh, previously. Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can have a look at the documentation. But there is a guide to how to use the MCP server. So the first thing you need to know, it only works with Figma desktop application. You need to have also a dev or a full seat in Figma. So it's not going to work with your free um, version. So having desktop application is a, is a requirement currently. And the, the way it works, the MCP server, compared to the one that we've tested last week, is that this runs locally. So there's going to be a local host. So to access the, the settings to the MCP server, you have to go to the preferences and the enable option is going to appear in the sub menu here. So you enable the dev mode MCP server. And then once that is enabled, you do have a few options under the dev mode MCP server settings as well. So as mentioned before, this is going to be running locally. So this is going to be the URL that you will use. Uh, when setting up your MCP client. So an MCP client is, in our case, it is going to be cursor today as well, but it can be VS Code. It can also be WinSurf, as you can see here. Okay, so we are in Figma. This is exactly the same design that we have used in the previous MCP test, which you can watch. I'm going to put a link somewhere. I'm not sure where. There's going to be a link at the top. So anyway, in Figma, what we have to do is we have to open the preferences menu here and find the enable dev mode MCP server. Once I do that, there's going to be a notification. That is a notification at the bottom that appears that says the, the local host uh, 3845 is going to be the, the URL that we need to, to use to be able to connect Figma application with the MCP client. In our case, that is going to be cursor. So what we will do now, let's have a look actually quickly. What other options do we have? So in dev mode, MCP server settings, we have enabled to get images. So that's going to fetch all the images from the Figma file. In our case, this should be all the avatar images. Inline instances, I'm not entirely sure what that means. It is disabled, so we will leave it as is. Include variant definitions, that's obviously Figma variants enable code connect. That's also a very powerful, powerful thing, which Figma has code connect. We will look at it in a, in a different uh, video as well. And then image settings use placeholder images. Okay. In documentation, you can click on the set up your MCP client over here. It's going to take you to the step two, and it, it is very easy. All you need to do is just find cursor. If you're using cursor, copy the, the JSON the JSON information, uh, you really, what you need really is this part here, the Figma one and the URL. This is the, the local host that we will be connecting to. But we are in cursor currently. I have exactly the same setup as I had in the previous video when I was testing the, the Framelink MCP server. Uh, so you can actually see it's enabled. So I am going to disable the MCP server and we will add a new one, which is the Figma one. So what we need to do is just paste our, our Figma information, which is the URL. And this is the local host and the actual port that is going to connect to the Figma application itself. So we'll see how this works. Okay. So in Figma, we have a user management section here. So what I'm thinking of doing is exactly the same thing. Uh, to be fair, when it comes to testing these MCP solutions, um, so what we will do first is convert convert this to a material UI component. Then we will convert this entire section to another material UI component and ask the LLM to put those two components together and see what the output of it is. So we click on the element. The it can be an artboard or a component, ideally you would use auto layout because that's going to help with 
generating the the correct layout in in codes and then we just copy link to selection and now we go to cursor okay we are in cursor just to verify that the figma mcp server is working you can see that you know it, it shows you that there's a a green indicator so it's all good it actually shows you the tools that it has access to which it has more tools than the the frame link one Fra frame link one currently has two tools so if i were to enable it you'll see if it connects so frame link one has get figma data which gets the data um about the the, the styling and so on and then it has the the tool to download figma images in case of figma we get the code which is actually described here what it does so it, gener it gets and generates the code it gets the variables as well definitions and then it can connect to code connect if you are using code connect and get images as well so get images in 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 this case for figma's mcp is probably exactly the same thing as download figma images in frame link mcp but let's hey enough enough talking let's let's give this a test and see if this actually works okay so the tool is calling to get the code so we can see that the mcp mcp works i'm using cloud version 4 it should work i'm not expecting any uh, any issues here if you want to try a, a good lm for front-end work cloud is probably the the best one really today so it's creating a new component called custom side nav and when it's done, once it's done, we will ask the LLM to place it in our page as well, so we can actually preview the, the component and then go and generate the, the rest of the UI. Okay, there are no errors. It is using material UI icons. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to accept that. And... Let's find the page. It is going to be in the users section and send it off. Now it's not going to use the MCP server. It's just going to place the component. I could do it myself, but I'm too lazy. Okay, while, while it's doing that, I'm going to go back to Figma and grab the, the other design. Okay, back in Figma, we will grab this entire frame and copy the URL to it one important thing when you are working with mcp servers is to use auto layout uh, auto layout is pretty much what is flex in, in code so it always helps to keep the the layout similar so you just right click on it and you copy link to selection and we go back to cursor and ask claude to generate the section and we see you know we see how it works Okay, so we have submitted a request to our LM to fetch the data from the Figma URL. Um, it has called the tool, get code. An interesting thing I've noticed here, it says that the client model is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And if the client model means my model, it, it is wrong because I'm using Claude 4. Not entirely sure. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter really. Um, yeah, this is awesome. It recognized that the Figma design has also images. So it's using the, the get image tool, which is pretty cool. We will see where those images will be, if they will be downloaded and where the LLM is going to store that. Normally it would be in the public folder here at the top in images. So the first step though is to create the user management table. So it recognizes it is a user management table and it's going to create that component for us hopefully okay okay over 400 lines of code that's a decent decent number we don't want this number to be too big okay so i didn't ask the LLM, it, this is just Claude. This is nothing to do with MCP. Claude is just amazing. And he just knows to put that in 
into the, the page, right? So hopefully this is gonna work, but I don't see any of the images being being downloaded, to be honest. Let's see. No, there's no images here. Okay, so we are in our local host, 3000, in the page that we have created. Um, so on the left-hand side, you see the component, the tree component from our Figma, which is using Matro UI. And then in the middle, um, you see the user management list. The images are missing, so it didn't actually download the images. It knew to call the tool to grab the images, but it didn't download the images. The other MCP server that we tested last week downloaded images and it worked perfectly. Um, but it, it all works here. You know, you, you get all the components, you get the, the select component, you have the correct icons, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, no surprises. I'm hoping Figma is going to continue developing and iterating uh, when it comes to the MCP and different types of protocols. And yeah, I mean, they probably have the right to win when it comes to custom and bespoke design systems. Um, not design systems like Material UI because there's a lot of documentation, but when it comes to custom design systems, bespoke ones, that's always a challenge. Um, so yeah, maybe this page is not laid out perfectly because there's too many gaps, this is centered, but th this is nothing to do with the MCP server. This is to do with the actual cloud model. If you can, go play around with it, go share it with your developers, actually. The only thing that is limiting is the fact that you actually need to have your Figma desktop application open and that server needs to be running. So your developer developer will need a Figma application on their local machine um, running. So compared to the Framelink MCP server, which is hosted somewhere else, you don't need Figma to be able to use that server, uh, but you do need a token from Figma. So, you know, there are always compromises. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and yeah, go check out the, the links in the descriptions play around with this. Um, the future is really bright and it's going to be amazing. I think the design to development handoff is going to be so streamlined and it's just going to be so easy. So it's going to make everyone very happy. Thanks. I'll see you next time.